Another very important element of the music is the chords. The chords help to add a lot of the emotion and colour in a track and really help to fill the sound out. If you don't already know what a chord is, it's when you stack multiple notes on top of each other and play them in unison, like this. In a band, often the chords will be played by the guitar or by the piano. We're going to start off uh, by recapping on the bass line and the drum beat that we played last time and I'm just going to play some different chordal ideas over the top. Two, three, four. The two chords that we're going to look at are A minor 7 and D minor 7. Now we're going to start off by breaking these chords down into their individual notes. So if you're playing a single line instrument, you can also play this. Um, remember that these notes are going to be different for you if your instrument is in a different key and there will be an accompanying sheet to help you to work that out. So the notes in A minor 7 are A. C, E, G. That's A, C, E, G. And the notes in D minor 7 are D, F, A, C. That's D, F, A, C. Now remember to pause the video and go back and practice these until you've got them down. So now we're going to try playing these individual notes along with the groove. One, two, three, four. So the next section of the video is specifically for the guitar players and the keyboard players. We're going to show you some nice voicings that you can play over these chords. So the voicings that we're going to use on the guitar look like this. A minus 7. D minus 7. That's A minor 7 and D minor 7. And here are some nice shapes of the same chords that you could play on the piano.
Now I'm going to show you a rhythm that you could play these chords in. Let's do it with the hi-hat. One, two, three, four. Now we're going to try playing this chord rhythm along with the band. One, two, three, four. 